All right, so here's home for the weekend. I've set it up. It's uh, probably going on 11 o'clock right now. It's definitely late. All right, here we are Saturday morning. You can see my breath, maybe not. But I'd say it's probably down about 35 last night. No, no, I wouldn't say that. Actually, it kind of felt like it though. <laughs> but uh, here I am at my camp. I got my sleeping bag. Man, I stayed warm. It's 23 degrees. Boy, it, it kept me nice and warm. I'll tell you what, I'm digging this sleeping bag. It's kind of a tight fit, but that's kind of the point. It's, a two, it's only a one man, so I don't think you're going to get your old lady in here too. But uh, yeah, it turned out well. I had this zipped down a little bit because it d didn't feel that cold last night when I first went to bed. And then I woke up throughout the night and it was kind of chilly so I just zipped it up and I was warm the rest of the night. So I'm up, it's probably about 7, 7.30. Uh, I don't like to move when it's cold. So, but I'm up now. I'm going to start getting ready so I can get out in the woods. Heck yeah. I just saw what I think was a fence lizard. There it is. Let's close with this. Alright, so I'm out here doing some pre morel hunting down. Uh, down near the Black River and uh, not finding any mushrooms really. I expected to maybe find some lion's mane, maybe some chicken of the woods, uh, maybe some tiny morels because I'm pretty far south down here. So, uh, but I am finding something pretty cool if you can see it. An antler. Shed antler. Look at that. How perfect that is. Bet that's coming home with me. That's awesome. That's a good find right there. I can do stuff with that. Cool. Well, well, well. Looks like I found the other one. So, the other one was six. This one's four. Got ourselves a 10 point buck around here. That's pretty cool. It's two of them. Awesome. Well, look at that. That's a third one. <laughs> so I'm in this valley and, uh, yeah, obviously it's a popular spot for deer. Up there showing a three-pointer. And there went a little lizard too. Go brown skink, that's what that is. Yeah. Three-pointer. And a tick. All right, gotta go, guys. All right, so I guess it's the end of day one. I don't smell rain, but these clouds came in and you can barely see the sun, so it's, I don't know. Probably not gonna rain, but I was out here for six hours. That's long enough. That last part of that trek was was a rough one. I had probably a forty pound ruck, I would say. So I'm not too heavy, but uh, I think I did about eight miles. I know I definitely did over seven, but it was uh, I'd say about eight miles from all the extra that I did off trail. But uh, this is what I came out with. No morels, it's still a little early. And uh, this is new territory for me, so I'm just coming down here. I knew it was kind of early, but I couldn't miss the opportunity to at least scout, so. But I did come out with three deer antlers and a little bit of trash. I mean, there's more out there, but when you got a heavy ruck on, you can't just keep bending down. So I grabbed all the really the worst looking stuff. So I'm out here picking up trash still and carrying these. And I had my big military issue rucksack. So if I can do it, you can do it. 
So get out there, find some cool stuff in nature, and just enjoy it. All right, that's the end of day one. Yeah, so I guess it's going to rain tonight. I've only been back at the camp for 45 minutes. <laughs> perfect timing, I guess. I guess I sensed the rain enough to get out the perfect time. I have to come back here, get relaxed. I'm going to go take a little drive. And then come back and wait this out till the morning. <laughs>